Hey, welcome back to Balancing Equations. More examples and more tricks. All right, let's first, before we get into this, let's go through several tricks. Number one, uh, do the least. Do the least. And that's the trick that I meant by if you're doing a problem and you want to pick the one you see the least in the problem, not the smallest numbers, in the problem, but when you do your balancing of your equations and you've got, say, CA, H, and O, if you see in that problem CA twice, H three times, and O four times, you're going to try and balance that CA first in the problem, and then the H and then the O last. That's a pretty good trick to do. A second little trick you can do, if you're working a problem and it's got like H, O, H in it, Rewrite it as H2O, the balance equation. It makes it easier. And if you've got an organic, like you see CH3, CH, CH, CH3 plus in the problem, balancing the equation, rewrite that as C4H, where are we here? 3, 3, 6, 7, H. Rewrite it as C4H8. And that will actually be easier when you're working the problem than this. All right, so there's another trick. My last ditch, and this is at the very end of my bag. Let's say you've got this equation that is something plus something yields whatever plus whatever. Let's say you've got this equation that looks like this, and you've been working this problem, and you've tried everything you can find to do this one, and you come down to the line, and you're like, I don't know what to do now, and you've been trying to start with a 3 there. Try this. Get rid of your 3. Put a 6 there. Double whatever you started with. What will be crazy is a lot of times that problem will work right out for you as soon as you do that. Uh, and same thing. If you were trying to work this problem by putting a 2 maybe there, get rid of the 2, put a 4, and the next thing you know, that problem might work out perfect. And that's just a last-ditch trick to try. All right, well, let's do another example. This seems to be one that gives a lot of people trouble, and it's actually kind of funny because this is a great problem. It follows my examples perfectly. CaOH2 plus HNO3, and that yields on the other side CaNO3 2 plus H2O. Whew, I'm barely fitting it into my screen. Okay. Let's do our T on this one. We'll do our T. And that's what I call this. I'm going to get a CA, an O, an H, H again, and an N. So I've only got these few letters in this, H and N. So there's what I've got. So now let's go back and do our counting. I've got one CA. O's I've got 2 times 1 is 2. So 2 plus 3 is 5. 2 plus 1, there's 3 on the H's. Uh, N's, I've got 1. I've got on the other side 1 CA. O's, I've got 6. 2 times 3 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. H's, I've got 2. And N's, I've got 2 times 1. I've got two of those on that side. All right, so now let's pick what to balance first. I've got three of them that are unbalanced. Now I need to pick N, H, or O. Let's do something. I see the letter CA twice. I see the letter O four times. H, one, two, I see the H three times. And then I see the letter N in this question twice. So now I'm going to use that to help me pick which one to balance first. N, H, or O? Well, I'm going to pick N because I see it the fewest number of times. So I'm going to focus on this N. I've got two on the right side and one on the left. So all I have to ask myself is what number can I put at the very beginning? In other words, what number can I put right here in front of the H and O3? What number can I put there that makes that a 2? Well, all I can do is put a 2 there. Two times, this is the thing, it does more than just the N. 
2 times 1H plus 2H's here. So I've got 2H's, 2H's, that gives me 4H's. Now that 3 I had there don't mean nothing from here on out. It was 3, but I ain't multiplying. It's just gone. I X it. 2 times 1N is 2N's. 2 times 3 O's is 6, plus I've got 2 O's here. So 6 and 2 gives me 8. Now, congratulations, you have fixed nitrogen. But now H and O still need to be balanced. Which one? Well, 4 or 3. I'm going to focus on this one, the hydrogen. I've got a 4 here and a 2 here. So what do I need to multiply that 2 by to get me to a 4 just like this side? Well, I can come over here and put a 4 in this problem. 4 times 2 H's is 4. Yes! Now for the... Wait a second. What did I forget? Not only does this 4 multiply the 2 H's, is 4 also multiplies itself... Ooh, I can't multiply for nothing. 4 times 2 is not... Just ignore that that ever happened. 2. <laughs> 2 times... And if somebody leaves me a comment saying, Oh, you didn't... Hey, guess what? I've been doing this all day long. 2 times 2 is 4 H's. Now, 2 times 1 O is 2. 2 plus 6 is 8. That's a horrible looking 8. Eight. And now I've got this equation balanced all the way across. And all it took was a pair of twos. I'm going to get rid of that line. There. Two and two, this is a balanced equation. Let's do like one or two more. And then I got to eat me some lunch at that point. Uh, let's see. What would be a good one to do next? Um, I got a little list here, and I'm going to try and pick one. How about PB... NO3 2 plus, oh yeah, this, this looks good. HF yields HNO3 plus PBF2. Alright, now that's a nice looking equation. So I'm going to draw my line, put my T. Feel free to pause the video and resume. So pause the video, see if you can work this one on your own. PB, I've got an N, I've got an O, an H, and an F. Woo, I've got to make my T bigger for this one. PB, N, O, H, and F. So i got a lot of work to try and do in this one. Okay. So let's see what I can figure out here with this one. Well, let's start counting. I've got one PB. I've got two N's. I've got six O's. I've got one H and one F. Let's go to the other side. One PB, one N, three O's, one H and two F's. Well, here we go. I've got PB balance and H balance, and then I've got the others unbalanced. Well, we can do the trick about picking one by which one we see the least. I see two PBs, two N's, two O's, two H's, two F's. Well, that doesn't help any on this one. Oh, well. So, any, many, miny, mo, pick, catch a tiger bites. Toe, if it cries, make it pay fifty dollars every day. My mama told me that you are the very best one, so I decided to choose you. That didn't work at all because I just picked H. Well, pretend it's F. So let's go down to F. I've got two on this side, and then I've got one right here. So I'm going to try and come back here, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to put a two right here. Now let's see what happens. So now I've got. 2 times 1 H is 2. And this is where you're going to be like, I just messed up the H. Hey, it happens. While I may have messed up the H, look at this. 2 times 1, 2 Fs. I did fix the F. 
Well, now we're back in the same boat. I still got three unbalanced. Let's just try and do the end next. I got two ends on this side, one on this side. So I'm going to try and put a two right in front of the H and O3. But that also does this. Two times one H is two. Hey, looky there. I just fixed that. Two times one N is two. Two times three O's. Oh my goodness, did we just balance us an equation on that one. It's never as hard as what you think it's going to be is the moral of the story. I mean, you can get most of these problems right if you really just put your mind to it and give it a try. I'll do one more. This one looks like it might be interesting. S8 plus H2 yields H2S. I like it because it's short. Heck, I'm not even going to do the T. Let's just wing it. So let's see what happens on this one. I've got eight S's. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and slide me an eight right here. Now, that gives me eight S's, but it also gives me 16 H's. Hey, no problem. Oh, my goodness. Look at what we just did right here. All right, I'm going to erase that. I'm going to write one more equation. It's going to be really long, and it seems to give rookies a pretty tough time. Matter of fact, I'm going to have to try and write it small, so maybe you can still read it. C3H5NO3 three yields, it's a huge decomposition, CO2 plus N2 plus H2O plus O2. Now this thing usually drives sophomores nuts. C H N O. And hey, go try and work it for yourself. Heck, if you're watching this video, you may have already tried working it for yourself. Good thing you're watching this video. I've got three and now I've got five, three, and nine. And then on this side, I've got one, I've got, let's see, H's, I've got two, N's, I've got two, and then O's, I've got two, three, four, five. Now, let's say you do the thing where you count. I see two C's. I see two H's. I see two N's and then I see at last I've got one, two, three, four O's. So the one I know I'm not going to try and balance first is probably going to end up being, I'm probably not going to try and balance the O. So I'm going to leave that out of it. Now I'll go ahead and tell you, most people end up working this problem by picking C to do first. Hey, you can do it. But if you pick C to do it first, you're going to run into a little bit of problem. When you put that three there, you're going to end up getting messed up later. The reason why, if you put a three there, there's, here's where you're going to get messed up later. As you work down the list, when you get to nitrogen, look, three and two. The only way just about to make this balance, well, we could use a one and a half. We could actually try and make this one work. Woo, we've got so many different ways of doing this question. It's crazy. Uh, I could start with a three here. Most of you will get stuck, which leads me to that last trick. If you started this problem by putting a three there, start it over again and use a six, and you'll probably get the question right. I'm going to start with the end first, because I know that by fixing the ends, I'm going to mess the C up, so there's no sense starting with the C. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to put a three here. And that's going to give me 6. And now I've got 3 here, so I'm going to put a 2 here. And look at what's going to happen now with a 2. That's going to give me 6 C's. It changes everything. 10 H's. I've got 3 times 2, 6 N's. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 2 is... I've got 18 O's. Well, let's come back to do the carbon. I've got 6 and 1, so I'm going to come back up here, and I'm going to put a 6 in right there. 
6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. Uh-oh. 12. And then I've got 13, 14, 15. I've got 15 O's now, not the 18 I wanted. Well, the good thing is I'm going to worry about it last. So do H next. I've got 10 and 2. Well, let's put a 5 right here. 5 times 2 is 10 H's. But now this also does this. 5 times 1 O. So that's 5 oxygens. There's 6 times 2. There's 12 there. And then look, there's 2 here. So that's a total of 19. Well, I need 18. You know what I wish? I wish that this was a 1. Wait a second. What can I do to that O2 to make it a 1? Half. And now look at it. 12, 5, and 1 is 18. I've got a balanced equation now. Y'all, just go through the tricks is all I can say. Try everything you can that you've learned so far. And good luck, and if you need any help, uh, there are other videos in chemistry on this, doing the harder equations. Thank you.